The car bomb killed 13 people in central Damascus on Sunday as President Bashar al-Assad told an international mediator seeking a truce in Syria's civil war that the key to any political solution was to stop arming rebels. The bomb exploded outside the police station in the mainly Christian central Abtuma district of the capital while Assad held talks with the United Nations Arab League envoy Lagarde Imad, who is pushing for a temporary ceasefire to mark the Islamic festival of Eid al Adha. State news agency Sana said the president said Syria supported any sincere thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Effort to find a political solution to the crisis based on respect for Syrian sovereignty and rejecting foreign intervention. Any proposal must be centered around the principle of halting the terrorism and commitment by the countries involved in supporting, arming and harboring the terrorists in Syria to stop these actions Sana quoted Assad as saying. Syrian authorities blame neighboring Turkey in particular for the bloodshed because it has sheltered mainly Sunni Muslim rebels fighting to overthrow Assad, from Syria's Alawite minority which is an offshoot of Shiite Islam. Gulf Sunni Powers Saudi Arabia Thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. And cult are also support arming the rebels. Serious conflict, which started with peaceful protests for reform, has escalated into a civil war marked by heavy use of artillery and air power by Assad's forces and regular bombings against symbols of his authority in Syria's main cities. The Interior Ministry said the Batumma bomb, on the edge of the old city of Damascus, killed 13 people. Security forces cut off access to the area. Television pictures showed shattered glass on the road and several burnt out cars. Hoping for calm thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Speaking after his meeting with Assad, Brahima gave few details of the talks but reiterated his call for a pause in the violence, which activists say has killed more than 30,000 people since the uprising against Assad erupted in March last year. Everyone can start this ceasefire when they want, today or tomorrow for example, for the period of the Eid and beyond, he told reporters at a Damascus hotel. Eid al Adha begins at dusk on Thursday, lasting for three or four days. Brahima said he had contacted opposition figures inside and thank you for trying verbose. This recording will go away once the product has been purchased. Outside Syria, including rebel fighters, as well as officials in neighboring countries some of which support the insurgency. They answered that they